Good morning, good afternoon, guys, or good evening. Carlos here with Serrano's Mobile Detail here in Dallas, Texas. Thank you so much for joining me in today's video. Um, I hope this video in the next couple of days uh, helps you out. I know it has um, helped me tremendously. Um, but previously on the wet sanding video, I was asked, hey, Carlos, can you do a video of Obviously, we're going to wet sand again, but this time it's going to be different. This time, I want to show um, the readings as we wet sand a uh, hood. That's what we're going to be doing. I hope this video, um, I think I may do this in like a two-part maybe or two-part video, I hope. Um, I don't really want to bore you guys, but that is what we're going to be working on. We're going to be working, obviously, on the wet sanding. We're going to be working on the readings, and we're finishing off with the polishing stage. That way we get a full number as to how much do we really remove when we're wet sanding. So I hope this video helps you guys out. Um, stay tuned for what's to come. Uh, so let me get everything ready and we'll be right back. Alrighty guys, so let's get started. I pretty much did this little area right here, this little boxed area. That way, um, this box area is where we are going to be really concentrating on. Um, I know this may not be the best visual, uh, but I really wanted to kind of showcase a little bit of, 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 you know, the steps of the wet sanding process again, as well as somebody just wanted to see exactly the levels. Um, how, how much do we go down as we wet sand? So the first reading, this is um, this hood right here. We are at 4.3, all right? 4.33 as the first reading. And we're going to go ahead and begin the wet sanding process, all right? We're gonna start with uh, 1,000. We're gonna go move up to 1,500, 2,000, uh, 2,500, and then 3,000 as we go. Um, very important, you may wanna stick around and watch this whole video today. Um, you don't wanna miss on um, any giveaways. Hint, 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 hint. Alrighty guys, so let's begin this video. Uh, we're gonna start with just um, uh, paint. Let's get a measurement on that. And I have it on, I'm gonna have it on SNG and Mills. 4.44, that's my reading as of now. That's without no wet sanding. 1,000, 2,000. 2500 and we're gonna finish with 3000 all right so let's get started guys let's get started we're gonna start with 1000 we're using the um, a wet sanding block and as always keep your area wet And as I explained it on the last video, when you wet sand, guys, you don't want to apply too much force. Just let the um, just let the pad do the work. A lot of the concentration is probably just going to be right in the middle because of the tape. So, you know, just mainly the concentration is going to be right in the middle. So that's kind of what I'm aiming for right now is this middle. And as always, just to see your progress, wipe it off. pass all 
All right. Let's get a paint reading on this first process. Four point three three on the reading. I mean, it's kind of jumping all over, so I don't know how amazing I'm gonna be able to do this video. So four point three three after using one thousand. 4.33. Now we're going to bounce. We're going to go to 1500. 1500 really quick. All right, now we're gonna get the paint reading after using I am reading 4.8, 4.8 after using 2,000. Now we're going to jump to 2,500. At this point, if once you get to 2500, this paint should already be feeling very like smooth. Like, like if it, it just has to glide through the paint. You don't want to feel it having many like bumps or feeling like forceful, if that makes sense. We're just going to let that dry out real quick. All right, we're going to go ahead and now get a measurement on here. Got a 3.98 now, guys. 3.98.
3.9a guys all right now we're gonna hit it with the last step 3000 3000 and we're gonna see the numbers on that now we have 3000 3000 guys it's uh pretty much your you're finishing the 3000 will literally blend everything um, really nicely it will also give you the perfect finish and you can definitely go up to like 5000 if you wish the higher uh, number the higher number that you go on the wet sanding the clear your finish is gonna be you can see more of uh, of, of the light like literally this is just flawless this this wet sanding right there it, you can see the clarity a little bit of that light so i always tell a lot of people the three it's really crucial even when you do wet sanding you know it's very crucial for you to um make sure that you finesse this paint really nicely so you can really get some amazing finish all right so we have successfully done all um all the steps for wet sanding and we're gonna get one last measurement 3.95 guys 3.95 finishing at 3000 3.95 so if you look at this sheet or obviously the readings again maybe these readings aren't all accurate guys so i do apologize um but just wanted to get a good kind of an, a good idea for you guys as when you start wet sanding down um or when you start wet sanding up on the numbers obviously from from 1000 up to 3000 these are kind of the numbers you're gonna be you're gonna be getting uh 3.95 would be the lowest as of right now um for if i'm in the 3.95 i would still have enough room to do a good one step uh, and it'll finish off really nice guys um usually for a two-step <coughs> i don't know why i'd rather want to be like in the fours if i want to do a two-step or a or the fives you know the higher the number here the better it's going to be for you to be able to do more correction right um, but in this in this stage here of the 3.95s i can still good do i can still do a very nice one step but usually when i'm in this number here guys i usually tell the customer at this point um, you would have to add a coating to the package just so that i can make sure and protect the clear nicely so <clears throat> overall guys this is just a process or the numbers of how the um how the wet sanding will kind of come down on and there you have it guys hopefully today's video helped you guys out um, to kind of understand for those who are maybe new to the wet sanding or the correction to really show you guys um, exactly how much clear um, do you remove when you're wet sanding to me in my eyes it's very minimal each each um, wet sand um, but to others it's a lot you know at the end of the day um, I'm just an opinion do we remove a lot when we wet sand not really do i want to sand every car not really because at that point we are removing a lot of you know integrity off of the clear um, i only wet sand if it's a must if it's like a damaged area that i know i can fix with wet sanding i will do it um, but it's not something that i tend to do all the time just because i don't want to diminish the clear or the integrity of the customer's clear um, of the paint but anyways it has been a long time since i have done a giveaway so if you paid attention to this video you saw some clues on here um with those hashtags all right if you follow me on instagram i made a video um or i made a post i think so i think i made a post on the new way that i'm going to be doing hashtags so hopefully you caught on to that the winner this this uh, giveaway will close on sunday um on sunday night um, and the giveaway will be on Tuesday. One lucky winner, guys. One lucky winner will be going home with a um, coating thickness gauge. All right. 
I purchased these on my own um, and each, uh, well, whoever wins will receive, obviously, it comes in a box. What comes in the box is it comes with a instruction little manual in here. It comes with a nice little pouch, which I love. Um, as you guys can see it, I have it on my um, detailer's bag. But it comes with your little bag, has a little belt clip, so if you wear a belt, you can literally belt, put it to your belt, pull it out, comes with your battery <coughs> already. In the package itself, um, it comes with these uh, different kinds of material from aluminum uh, to a standard ferrous. This one is standard aluminum. And this is uh, little, um, these are the, um, the measurements. So that way in case it's not um, calibrated, you can calibrate it using these. And you always make sure you have the best measurements. So uh, one week from today on Tuesday, I will be choosing one random winner and the winner will be actually winning one thick co um, coating thickness gauge which I have really enjoyed I know this is not the best one in the world or it may not be the most expensive um, but you know it's something that I'd like to give it has really helped me in understanding uh, readings and understanding the paints how the paints work it, under it just gives me a peace of mind when I'm working on cars that want to get correction I want to make sure I have enough room to really give it my best so uh, one lucky winner here um, if you guys catched on to all the hashtags i hope you did because those are gonna be it so one week from today i will be looking at all the entries putting them in and one lucky winner will be winning a free uh thickness uh coating gauge so uh thickness gauge sorry <laughs> uh, anyways you guys have a blessed day god bless y'all happy tuesday I hope you guys have a blessed Wednesday. We're pretty much off for the whole maybe next couple of days. They're draining the forecast. So it gives me a little bit of time to a little bit relax. And um, hopefully we'll see what else we can do for you guys. God bless you guys. We'll see you all next time.